Welcome to Rover YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain you how to apply decount function in your Microsoft Access database. So we use decount function to count number of records in a database. So here I am going to explain you how to apply decount function using DBA. So firstly, I would like to explain you the syntax of decount function. So you can see the decount function basic components are expression, domain and the criteria. So that is how decount function syntax looks like. Decount equals it's in brackets. We have to give expression, comma domain, comma criteria. So the criteria part is optional. It's up to you. So here I'll explain uh, one by one. Here expression means the fields that you the field that you want to count records, and the domain means the set of records. So the domain may be a table or a query. So criteria it's an optional expression. So you can uh, use where clause. Likewise, you can use where clause under the criteria. Uh, it is an optional. Thing. So uh, I would like to explain this structure using uh, practical example. Here I have a table called a TBL employee. So it contains three columns: employment ID, employment name, and gender. So here, when it comes to the count function, so how we count uh, number of records? Which represent uh, female, female. So in case, in that case, so how to count this? So we know the basic decount function contains basically three components: expression, domain, and criteria. So here we can say the expression means we earlier discussed expression is the specific field we use to count the records. So here expression equals to employment ID and the domain means table or a query. So here we have a table and the table name is PBL employee and the criteria part is optional but here we are going to count the female number of female employees. So here we have to give a criteria uh, uh, we can say gender equals female. So then it counts the fee all the fee and uh, it counts the number of female employees in TBL employee. So that is how our decount uh, functions practical application. Then to explain this uh, practically, I have created a new or a sample database called uh, TBL sample DB, which is my sample database. So it contains a table called TBL employee. So I use this table to explain the decount function. So before we move to the video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Then my a sample table contains three columns EMP ID, full name and gender country. So these are the four columns. So uh, firstly, under the various applications of decount function, I'd like to show you how to count all the records in this table. How, how to count the total number of records in this uh, table without any uh, criteria. So therefore, to uh, get that output I have to write VBA code therefore I'm going to click on the create tab then I'm going to click on the visual basic so before that sorry before that I'm going to take result to a uh, text box therefore I have to create a form. So I am going to create a blank form and I am going to save my form as FRM decount. Now go design view then I want to give the result to a text box. Therefore I want to add a text box here. This is my text box. So here uh, I want to uh, name my text box as PST 
uh, wizard. So it is the text box name and I am going to increase the font size to 18. Then this is the label is the say count. Uh, then I'm going to add a command button. Then again, go to design tab and click on the command button and drag and drop or drag on the uh, forms design view. Then I want to uh, change the caption of my uh, form to run. And it's font size so 16. Then uh, I want to uh, give a specific name to my command bo command button. Then my command button name is CMD run. This is so. This is how my form uh, setup looks like. Then I want to add uh, PB record to get total number of records in my employee table. So I, here I am going to add my port to uh, this command button. Therefore, I right click on the command button. Then I am going to click on the build event. Then select all build. Now under the command button click event so I have to give this code so what is the code I want to dim where uh, I want dim x as integer then I want to make equal x to what the count within bracket we count then our expression emp id employment id then table name tbl employee is the table name cross in commas and what we call bracket then i want to get the result to txt result text box therefore txt result X box equals to X. So that is how my function looks like. Then I am going to save this code. Then I am going to load my access window again. Now go to the form view. Now once I click on the run button, it shows the number of records in my table. So the num number of table total records is 1200. So that is how you, that, so that is the way we have to apply uh, Decount function to count all the records of a table. Now it is clear to us. Then what happens if you need to count specific uh, records? So in that case, we have to use criteria. So uh, you know earlier I discussed criteria part is not compulsory, it is optional. However, if you want to add a uh, criteria, then it should be so it should like this. So here dmx as integer, so okay. Then what happens to the this part? So here up to this one uh, it is okay. Then I'm going to add my criteria. So under the criteria gender. Gender equals The uh, female so now, however, text result is equal to x, so that is how uh, that's how to use I mean criteria for our decode function. Now, uh, save this part and go to. Microsoft Access 
and go to Chrome. So in that case, what happens? Uh, the number of email records is 5,000, so 518 out of 5,200 records. So what happens if I want to count total number of mails? So in this case, I want to uh, change the uh, email to mail, then save, then go to MS Access and click on the run button. So you know, uh, total number of mail records are 182. So in likewise, you can use your own method to method with the criteria. Then second one, also okay. So normally, when it comes to the count function, the count does not count uh, null, null values in the field referenced by the expression. Okay. So we use asterisk wildcard character in this expression. So there we have to use asterisk mark. So uh, to count all records in the ABL employee, including blank records, so my code would be is li uh, like this. So here, what you should want to do under the dim excess integer part is okay. Then to uh, so here you need to add instead of TB uh, employment ID, I want to add a what a strict mark. Yes, I added asterisk mark. So uh, when I add asterisk mark, what happens? Uh, the count. So the count uh, or records in the table employee, including blank reports, can be uh, count like this. So including uh, blank reports, uh, it will count the total number of reports because with the use of asterisk mark, it counts the null uh, records also. On the other hand, we can use uh, count function under the decount method. So how to use count function under the decount? So it is also a very easy method. Just right click, go to build event. So uh, there we have to uh, declare a function to count records using decount. So what is the public function? Public function public function get code uh, public function get count stia gender function is okay so there uh, we need to uh, write this one count equals with count equals d count open the bracket so within inverted commas APID then TBL employee now TBL employee yes TBL employee yes this is, the, this is the public function to get count or, a, or the apply count function under D count okay then uh, again we have to call this other one uh, private sub cmd run click then dmx as integer is correct then x equal get count x equal x equal get count email then any text result equals x then answer so this is how you should so this is the way of applying decount function on the whole function. So save and let's go to the in that case also 
it counts number of uh, female records so that is the way of applying count function uh, under the uh, d count function so i think from this lesson you get something so you first further improve your knowledge regarding this so let's meet with another video uh, that's it for today thank you very much